Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video I will show you how you can transform Qtile from this to that. I will show you how you can customize Qtile, the Python-based window manager, and make it a bit more beautiful. A good starting point are these two videos, the base installation of Arch Linux or the base installation of NixOS. But of course, if you have Qtile already installed on your system, I'm pretty sure you will find something that you can add to your personal configuration. Let's start. Now we can start with the configuration of Qtile and make it look a bit nicer. Let's rise it a bit. I want to change the screen resolution. When I enter X render 1920 1080 I CD into config Qtile and here is the config.py the Qtile configuration file and I can open it with Vim. Here is the first key binding that I want to change. I do not want to close an application with W. I want to do this with super key Q. And I want to move the Q type bar to the top. Let's save it. And with super key control R, I reload the configuration and the bar is at the top. I also can hide some widgets that I don't need. And with reload, the widgets disappear from the toolbar. With that layout theme configuration, I set a border width of 3, a margin between the windows, a gap of 15, the border focus color is white and the border normal color is gray. Then I disable the column and max layout and enable the monitor layout and load the layout theme into that layout. Let's save it and reload. And now we have a white border around our terminal. And when I open a second terminal, I have a gap between these terminals. And now we can set up a wallpaper. I downloaded my wallpaper package from GitLab. Let's spawn nitrogen. We open. Spawn means executing an application with super key R. I can enter nitrogen. Now I click on preferences and add the new directory wallpaper. The first one here, click on scaled and click on apply. And when I now switch to the second workspace with super key two, you see that the wallpaper is there. Now I want to tweak a bit Alacrity, my terminal emulator, spawn the command chromium and I search for GitHub Alacrity and I download the default configuration file, alacrity.yml. So let's switch again to the terminal, cd into config and create with mkdir alacrity a folder for the alacrity configuration. cd into alacrity, folder is empty. And now I can copy from the download folder the alacrity file into the new folder alacrity.yml and here is the alacrity configuration file let's open it with vim and here i want to change something i uncomment the window section and define a padding of 10 and when I scroll down, I also define an opacity of 0 0.8. Let's save it. And I close Alacrity and reopen it again. And here is an error. And I also need to uncomment padding. Now let's write it. And now you see we have a padding. And if we now want to have a transparent background, we need to enable PyCom. Before we can do this, I have to create an auto start file. I open the config folder, 
switch into the QTAP folder and create an, an auto start file. In the auto start file, I set the screen resolution. I load nitrogen with restoring the background wallpaper and PyCom. Let's save it. Let's make it executable with change mod plus X auto start and open the config.py. Now I want to add rounded corners to my windows. To do this, I need to configure PyCon. I open the config folder and I create a folder PyCon with mkdir PyCon. I spawn Chromium and search for GitHub PyCon. I open the main homepage from PyCon in GitLab and download here the PyCon sample con file. And we can copy the downloaded file into the new folder and rename it to PyCon. Dot conf. We cd into PyCon and here is our new PyCon.conf file. Let's open it with Wim and disable the shadows. And here we have the corners, the rounded corners. I change this to 10. And one important last step is required. I need to change the backend of PyCon to GLX. And now let's save it. And now we have rounded corners after restarting Qtile. Looks very nice. And also when I open the browser, also has rounded corners now with slight transparency. And now you have Qtile with transparent Alacrity terminal emulator with gaps between the windows with rounded corner with Chromium installed, Thunar as your file manager and great wallpapers.